The question is, is the Marvels actually going to flop? Oh. Oh. It's a big one because Marvel have put a lot of money into the Marvels. It's kind of the entire brand in the name. It is. But that is the question. Let me know what you think. Is it? Is it not? Might it? Might it not? It probably is, but they might surprise us. But we've got to do fact of the day. Page number 137. Fact number one. A bastardly gullion is a bastard's bastard. In what language? English. I guess French? French? Goulion, maybe. Goulion. <laughs> a bastardly Goulion. <laughs> that does sound very French. A bastard's bastard. It does sound like something a Frenchman would dream up. Mm -hmm. It's very on brand. In the French. Renaissance era. Yes. Mm. Yes. But no, that's not a legitimate child. That's a bastard. Worse, he is the bastard's <laughs> oh, bastard. Oh, the bastard, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, crazy stuff. But hey, no render of the comic app. Yes, and right now we're just going to be quickly talking about this new tracking data that came out for the Marvels in terms of its opening weekend box office. And it ain't good. Oh, no. In fact, it's very bad. Oh. I don't know if I believe it's going to do as badly as they're saying, but if it's true, this might be it. This might be the end. The nail in the coffin. The moment of destruction is here. How bad is this tracking data? The tracking data is saying that the opening weekend is between 50 and 70 million for the three-day weekend. And it might even be a four-day weekend because of the actual weekend it falls on. They're saying between 50 and 70, 75. Oh. That is about half to a third of what the first one did, because the first one had about 140 to 150 opening weekends. So this is looking at 50 to 70. And the first one had a domestic box office of 420. But I am really not sure where this one is going to sit in terms of its total box office in the US and Canada. Because if that's the opening weekend, it might be struggling to hit 200 million. Okay, wow, I guess this says something about our predictions. Mm. Our predictions are actually too high. Significantly, when we were aiming between six and 700 million mm. for a total, that's too high. They might not be making that. They might be looking at five. There might be a five as the first number. Oh. If it's a bad movie as well, it might be a four. So basically, there's no chance of this movie cracking a billion. Zero percent. All those, it's going to make a billion dollars. There were a lot of people saying it because the first one made a billion. People were just saying this one's going to do it as well. We never believed that for a second. We said, no, don't play stupid games. You're setting yourself up for failure there. Oh, that's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. They put so much money into this. And they've been pinning this like, this is it. Bring everyone back to the mm. cinema, specifically for superhero films, saying, look, we understand there's been a little bit of a dip. Some people have been calling it the fatigue, <laughs> the superhero fatigue. I'm telling you, the Marvel's going to bring everyone right back. Mm. And that is not the case, it seems. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, Disney. Oh, they must be shitting a brick. <laughs> I don't think they're shitting one brick. I think they're shitting 72 bricks. Uh-oh. If it's a good movie, there is a chance it breaks even because it does need that 600, 650 as a break-even number. But, and this is a big but, it's a heavy but, it's a very, very extreme but, this thing could lose a couple hundred million dollars. Oh, that is not good. And she is supposedly, as Captain Marvel, one of the bigger characters in the MCU now. Yeah. She is one of the stalwarts. She's one of the generals yeah, she's of the, the universe. Yeah, she's the one trying to say, come see my film. Mm. I'm one of the last big boys left. Big girls, big boys, doesn't really matter. You were never a big boy in the first place. There no. was no cultural zeitgeist around you. Everyone knew what the situation was with Captain Marvel, which was you were just a placeholder. Yeah. You were there between Avengers Infinity War and Endgame and Marvel marketed that movie like, you need to see this movie to understand what's going on in Endgame. Yeah. They lied. They absolutely lied. There was no need for the lie, but they lied. In fact, there would have been more reason for them to really market Ant-Man and the Wasp as the movie to say, you really need to see Ant-Man and the Wasp to be able to understand Endgame, because that was actually true. Yeah, that one was far more important, mm -hmm. but they did play that marketing ploy to be like, you need to see it, spend your money, otherwise when you get to the big moment, you're not going to understand it, and you didn't need to see Captain Marvel. No. And people, some people loved it. We personally didn't, but I had hopes for this one. Mm, I did. Seeing this tracking, hearing about this tracking, it kind of makes me sad because this could be an okay film, but with tracking like this, it's not going to get the bump mm. after that first weekend. Yeah. So it's normally downhill from there. And with that sort of numbering, that's it. You're donezo. And I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The MCU is dead. We said it was dying. We said that for about three years. 2021, we said, nah, we're feeling it. Yeah. It's over. 
and all the shows have been generally poor. Some of them been good, most of them have been shit. The movies on mass have been subpar. And now we look at this and we are passing through. We're just seeing it pass us by. Yeah. Wow. What this was, what this could have been. And now it's a disaster. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn the channel down there if you didn't. If you didn't, Captain Marvel, gonna come after you. You don't want that. You really don't. She's gonna be pissed off about these numbers. Do they want that? Not no. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been the ringer of the comment. I've been on She's been on Sensei. You've been Grant. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over five years now, and we won't stop until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content, so hashtag never not here. Just tag goes also bring the pukwas. Pukwas means nonsense, imp and jubby. We also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality of shitty content on a daily basis. So see you tomorrow for more of the same, slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>